What's going on? So it's been a hot minute, maybe about a month, a little over a month since I've uploaded a video. And I wanna make this video here to explain kind of where I've been, what's been going on behind the scenes, why I haven't been around. So really quick, if we rewind back to January, we basically found out that our landlord is selling the house and uh, we either have to rent a house or buy a house. So, uh, you know, we kind of teetered on what to do and our landlord has been super cool about letting us stay here as long as we, you know, pay, uh, kind of an increased rent. We were paying really low uh, in terms of like what the market's at now. So he's been really cool with that, but we ended up finding a house in kind of the Orlando area that we bought. That's right, we actually bought a house, which is super exciting. I didn't even think that we'd be here where we are now a month and a half ago, you know? And I do wanna give a big shout out to Eric and John. Eric, our realtor, and John, our loan officer. These guys, uh, they serve Central Florida, so Lakeland, Orlando, Land Lakes, Tampa, kind of those areas. And man, let me tell you, having a good realtor and a good loan officer made the experience so much better. I've never bought a house before, so holy crap. Like, there's so much stuff that you have to do. You know, you have appraisals and inspections and, you know, cash to close and then clear to close. All of these terms I didn't know. And Eric, our realtor, super cool. So was, so was John, our loan officer. I felt like I could call any of them day or night, whatever time it was, ask a question, if I have anxiety about something. They were just super awesome. They made the whole process a, a little less stressful. I mean, it's still stressful buying a house, right? But if you're in the market for a home in Central Florida, I'm not being paid to say this or anything. I just really like promoting good people and people that I that I really believe in. Uh, check out Eric. I will leave his Zillow profile and his uh, email in the description below. If you need a realtor in Central Florida, definitely check him out, give him a call. It comes highly recommended from both me and my wife. So what's next? Well. I have some things in the pipeline. Uh, basically, I've talked about having a dedicated home theater space and this house is no exception. So we are actually, I'm now in the position to have a dedicated theater room. I'm taking a spare bedroom. Now I, I can't show you the bedroom just yet because we don't have the keys. We get those Thursday actually. So look for a uh, video walkthrough of the house with the main focus being the theater room. Uh, coming soon, maybe in about a week or so. This project is gonna be pretty massive in scope. It, bigger than anything that I've ever done project-wise before. And I'm a pretty DIY hands-on type of person, so I wanna do everything myself as much as possible. Outside of a few weird things that I might come across where I need to hire a professional, I'm gonna be doing everything myself and documenting the whole experience from start to finish, like I said. So that includes painting the walls. I've never painted walls before. I've never painted a popcorn ceiling before. And I know I'm almost 40, but I've never owned a home. I've never been in a position where I could paint walls. And so that's gonna be an experience that I wanna document. You know, what colors do I wanna go with? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? I'll be running in-wall speaker wire. I might even be doing in-wall speakers. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Uh, I'm working with some, a couple brands to maybe try to make that happen. But uh, it's gonna be super cool. Now. On top of that, I'm also going to be routing ethernet cable throughout the entire house. Now this house was built in 1994, so it has no pre-wired or wired ethernet in, in the house at all. So we're basically gonna be adding, I think I wanna do about two ports per room. Now I say that now, but as I get in and I start seeing, oh, maybe I have to drill through you know, a fire block or something like that. It might change to one, I don't know. Now I know networking is kind of not really home theater related, but I kind of do feel that it's all tied together. I mean, most if not all devices we have now connect to the internet in some way. And if you could go hardwired, it's always the best option. So I feel like this does apply to home theater and it might be just kind of cool to make a video and <laughs> make all these mistakes so you guys don't have to. I mean, I know I'm gonna make mistakes and nobody's perfect but it's all a learning exercise. And I love the fact that we're gonna have our house that we'll be able to do all this stuff that we want to in, instead of just saying, well, we can't run speaker wires in the walls because you know we don't live here permanently. This is our rental. So like I said, I will have a video out soon, walking through the house with the primary focus being on the theater room. And I will go into more detail in that video than I did here about the projects and the planning and stuff. Basically, 
it's gonna be a whole series of videos. Uh, so if that's your thing, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have that bell notification turned on because this is actually really exciting for me to make content like that. Something that I love watching and I think you guys are going to love watching it too. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now to switch gears here for a moment, I actually said goodbye to the 85 inch Vizio P-Series Quantum X. Uh, I've been kind of vocal about my issues with their firmware and their updates and how they broke HDR10 five or six months ago and still no fix, still nothing. So I sold it to a friend of a friend who didn't really care about the issues and I did make sure that he knew about the issues. I wasn't gonna sell him something that I would not have bought myself without him knowing about the issues that I have with it. And he didn't really care. So after I sold the Vizio, we kind of had to put buying a new TV on the back burner for a bit until we bought the house. But after we bought the house, I went ahead and purchased a 77 inch LG C1 OLED. That's right, finally in the OLED camp. And man, is it awesome. It is just, it feels like such a premium product. I'm gonna have a bunch more videos about the C1. I'm probably gonna batch shoot those. That way I have some content coming out while we're doing the moving and stuff. And I don't have like a big lull like I did before. Uh, but the reason I went with the C1 is it just kind of ticked all the boxes. I know the C2 came out and it is technically better in some aspects, but I really didn't feel like the price difference was worth it. I picked up the C1 for $25.99 from Best Buy. So heck of a deal, really enjoy it. Again, I'll be making more videos on that. I'll actually be doing a TV buying guide, kind of going through my process, not necessarily a universal process, but my process of selecting a TV and why I ended up with the C1 instead of something else like the Sony A80J or the new you know, X95K or whatever. So yeah, look for LG C1 content coming up as well as some other content here. Um, I'm actually working on a review of the Aperion Alayers. Uh, these are Bluetooth speakers, uh, kind of similar to the SVS Prime wireless speakers. I also have the Bravis subwoofer down here. You can't really see it but uh, look for an overview and unboxing video of those pretty soon. I'm actually pretty excited to use these speakers as we move because they're kind of portable, they're kind of small. There's a car, wow. Someone really likes bass. So these can be actually used kind of portably. They're not battery powered, obviously, but they're small enough that you can kind of take them anywhere. So it'd be kind of cool to be able to just bring them over to the new house, plug them in and stream some tunes from my phone, you know, to them through Bluetooth. So look for an overview and unboxing video of that pretty soon, we'll be within the next week. And then the review, you know, maybe in the next month or so. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and sticking with me here. I know it's been a little while, but we're gonna kind of get a flood of content going here pretty soon. So stick around, really would appreciate it. Also, if you have any tips or tricks about running cables through walls or doing anything like that, leave them in the comments because I need all the help I can get. I really don't wanna have to hire a professional to do this stuff. I wanna do it myself and document it. And I'll give you guys a shout out if you, if you have any really awesome tips you know, uh, I might might call upon you in a video, um, you know, through the phone, not anything else. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.